thank you for tuning in and welcome to Aaron Painting. Today I have something special for you. I have asked all of the Aaron Quest players to tell about their characters. And just for those who don't know, Aaron Quest is uh, a dungeon crawling RPG with interchangeable uh, groups. Uh, and it takes place in Marienburg, uh, where all the characters live together in a house simply refers to, referred to as the house. So yeah, without further ado, enjoy. Hi, Sleeping Bear here. One of my characters' name is Eldarine Axion. He's a swordmaster of Hoeth, which means a high elf with a two-handed sword, two -handed sword, which means single target damage dealer. He um, is very much the grown-up adult of the party in most cases, which I have to say has been slightly compromised by his friendship with the slayer of the party, who is a dwarf, of course. Um, this is rather worrying to everyone involved, especially because I used to be a racist. And um, now I'm not. Hi, Delgo here. Uh, today I'm going to talk about my character in Aaron Quest. At least one of them, at, uh, for starters. And that would be my first and not main anymore. But uh, Burkhard Wolf. Uh, a hunter that has uh, dedicated his life to the uh, god, uh, the forest and hunting god uh, Tal, and he is uh, he's technically a priest, and he has a uh, companion uh, given to him by the god uh, Tal, a uh, animal spirit called Jaeger, which is uh, currently taking the form of a uh, dire wolf, which is pretty awesome because starters with a dire wolf that can kill everything uh, later on it's gonna take the form of a bear so yeah um, their primary uh, role in the uh, system is or in a party is healer buffer and slight ranged attacker um, yeah I don't know if I need to talk, uh, tell you anymore, but uh, but I will be back to tell, uh, talk about the other characters. Hello, I'm Quintus. Uh, I'm talking about one of my Knight Errand, uh, Errand Quest characters. Uh, he's called uh, Diego de Viboa. He's a stallion duelist, uh, working with the finesse skills that's normally a bit more oriented towards martial arts. But they have counter attack and block, so he's really he's what I would call a dexterity tank. He he runs a lot on getting attacked and retaliating. Uh, in the game, he's a very courageous. Yes, let's say courageous uh, hunter. Uh, no, not hunter. Uh, fighter. Uh, and he's sort of happy-go-lucky. Uh, he has had a bit of traumatic experiences lately, but all in all, he's a character who wants to enjoy life and have some challenges. Hi, I'm Mala Nagel, and I'm here to tell about one of my four characters. Um, Eva is a light mage acolyte, uh, originally an Aldorfian orphan. She was chosen to uh, join the college at age seven. And um, 15 repetitive, boring years later, she ascended and uh, accompanied her newly appointed master on a field trip to Marienburg, where he, has, he of course, was um, killed by demons. Um, and she joined the house. So she is um, all business and no fun, always afraid to lose control. Uh, and when she's not on a mission, she can be found in the library where she reads. Um, books on magic or try to decipher um, scrolls from other spell schools. Um, hi, I'm Radical. Um, my character, well the first of them, is uh, Laurent de Montfort, a Bretonian knight born into the family of uh, the rulers of Montfort uh, near Helmgard, the border of the Empire in Bretonia. 
Um, and this guy was, during his youth, a very rebellious young man. He liked helping the peasants and reading great stories about the heroes of Bretonia, which also meant that he taught uh, the young ladies at court how to fight and so on, which is not really a good idea, uh, according to his father and the Duke. Um, his uh, father then sent him and his brothers on a, well, on a hunt for some uh, evil, evil misdoers. Unfortunately, those evil misdoers had already been brutally murdered by beastmen. So when Laurent and his um, and his brothers arrived, uh, they were instead confronted by a bray herd led by Dumbul. Laurent and his uh, brothers uh, fought the Dumbul, and they managed to kill it which kind of gave him his, his crest, a bull. Uh, he then traveled most of Bretonia with, uh, with, an, with an elder grail knight and was taught all the virtues of being a true knight. Um, during a battle up in uh, north of Kuron, he, uh, he fought uh, a, marauder, a marauder chieftain uh, and then was knighted by the king himself Afterwards, his, one of his brothers died in the battle and he charged into the night to fight all the demons and stuff. Afterwards, he was dragged home by his horse uh, and during the, uh, let's call it the curing process of a plague sword, uh, he had a vision and became a questing knight and then chose to go to Marienburg. That's Laurent. My character is Augusta Elun. Uh, she is a street performer. Um, she is. She used to travel with a bunch of misfits who also enjoyed the circus life, and then she was like, and she was acrobat, an acrobat, a sprechteilmeister, and well, she did stuff with knives too. She's also a rogue. Anyways, they turned on her and threw her out of the circus. And then she thought, what the fuck should I do now? Uh, and then she heard about the house. And she thought, yeah, I can kill people too and bad monsters and shit like that. So she joined them. And she has been out doing that. And she's on the path to being a really maniac psycho killer. Enjoy. Hi, I'm uh, Lesfa. And one of my characters for Iron Quest is Hans Sturfryer. He is a halfling, a fairly short halfling, even for a halfling. He's also a rather skinny halfling, not for lack of eating, just for lack of gaining weight. Uh, he used to uh, take, uh, back when he was uh, in the mood, he took a trip with the, uh, with the Sturt River Patrol, uh, where he experienced a bit of uh, undead shooting and undead bashing and stuff like that, and figured out that that was not really all that fun. It was horrible fighting and not that much loot, so he decided to go adventuring instead. So with all of his combat experience, he, decided, he, took, uh, he took a boat all the way to uh, Marienburg, where he joined the Adventurer's Guild. And now he is, all, uh, he is all in it for the adventure, the glory, the loot, and all the food he can eat. Hey, I'm Ronin. I play Eckert Cross, a warrior priest of Moor. Um, that's a short story. The, slight, the longer sto slightly longer story is that I play a disgruntled Sigmarite warrior priest who converted to Moor after an unfortunate incident in the Empire where he kept insisting that Skavenix are there and are a threat and the nice witch, witch hunters kept trying to inform him that no, you did not see these things and we are going to transfer you to somewhere quiet where you won't cause any trouble. So he is now technically defected uh, and adventuring in Marienburg and probably not going back to the Empire anytime soon. He's a tank slash healer slash that's those are the main things and he, he tends to make undead stay away. My latest character is Eddie Gessner, a Mimidian priestess. Um, when she was a child uh, her father and brother sold her off to war and never to return. 
a few years later, a turning point was a lecture on strategic uh, retreat, a concept borderline uh, treasonous to followers, uh, followers of Sigma, but something that made a whole lot of sense to, uh, to young Addie. At age 12, she joined the Mimidia de Mare temple in Marienburg, and she recently joined the house. Hello again. Uh, now I have to talk about my second character. My second character is a callback to a character I played in some role-playing games a long time ago. His name is Grufnik Tottenaup, so you see him. And he's a halfling. Uh, his life hasn't been that great. He started his life as a gamekeeper, but ended up with the bad friends. So after a lot of adventuring, a lot of kidnappings, he sort of settled down and time went by. And now he's starting to have flashbacks to the kidnappings and the problems. So if he has sent his friends, his family away and joined the house because there's tough adventurers in hope of finding his enemies. Uh, the rest of the house right now suspects he's insane. Just because he's a saint doesn't necessarily mean that his problems aren't real, but he is insane. Uh, right now he's a he's still a ranged character, uses a gun. Guns are working pretty well. And well most of the other people are finding him amusing right now, which is pretty lucky. And he hopes to avoid the flying skull that haunts his nightmares. Hi, my name is Tarkat. I'm playing the Knight of the Blazing Sun, uh, called uh, Conrad. Conrad is a knight from Araby, where he uh, discovered that pretending to be a knight is not as good as being a knight. So he was beaten, beaten down by common brigands and uh, lost everything he had and everything he was. So. He decided that to discover what it actually means to be a knight, he would start from scratch. And the best way he could think to do that was to travel to Marienburg and find the little adventurous guy there and take it as it comes. Hi, Colm here. Um, one of my characters is Ronald de Aldenberg, priest of the one and only Sigmar. Wielder of a massive 200 warhammer, um, smasher of skulls, flinger of comets. He grew up in Marienburg but him and his entire family very pro-Empire. So eventually he felt like Marienburg needs more Sigmar in its life. So he went to Altdorf to become a priest. Now he's back to spread the good word, of course, with his hammer, which is how we do it. Um, he ended up in the Adventures Guild pretty much because his entire family were outed as pro-Empire. Uh, pro and as such, pretty much blacklisted from everything in Marienburg. Uh, so that's the place he had to go to. Um, his role in, uh, in our dungeon quest is basically smasher of skulls, flinger of comets. Um, that healing thing that he could also theoretically do, not really a thing. So yeah, smash skulls for Sigmar. Talgo again, uh, here to talk about my second character. Gemma Abano. She's a. Uh, well, best way to uh, describe her in one word pirate. She's a pirate from uh, Sartosa. Uh, she's grown up in a. What is it called? Uh, a, a tavern. Where she's been idolizing pirates and adventurers all her life. And she. Her biggest. Uh, she's probably the biggest fan of. Uh, the uh, lead uh, master of her uh, uh, adventurous house, uh, Marcus Dunkel. She idolizes him completely uh, to a point where he can ask her to do whatever. Uh, and she's a very young girl, so she's still growing. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So until next time, see ya. It was my first character. She's a Max of the Golden Order, a metal mage. She's a big fan of black powder and uh, everything uh, rare metal and has a vast collection of Ithelmar Grumble black steel thingies. 
In combat, she turns enemy weapons into lead, uh, enemies into golden statues, or the skin of friendlies into steel. Or she just blasts them with her dueling pistol. A second character I also play, which is at this point my favorite, uh, is Talindriel. Uh, she's she's a, a high elf life mage from Avalon. She's actually uh, a distant cousin of the Ever Queen herself, and she's been living. Uh, she was living a glorious life. Uh, no, no shoes. No, just hanging out in the forest, having fun. Then she was invited to a wedding up in Kothik on the uh, other side of Ulthuan and on that voyage by, by ship she was, uh, her ship was uh, attacked and uh, raided by dark elf corsairs from the armada of uh, Felhart, uh, Lokia Felhart. Uh, she was captured and put in the brig of a, of a dark elven, uh, well, of dark elven reaver ship and suffered horribly for an unknown number of months or even a year uh, until she was uh, she was getting pretty pretty crazy down there only her life magic keeping her alive uh, but then one day she was saved by Satosan pirates of you know of, of, of all people uh, and deported or oh, well uh, shipped to port uh, to the port of Marienburg she has a real problem with other elves because honestly no one came to save her no one helped her she was all alone down in the brig with herself and the dark gods uh, other than that she's getting a lot brighter uh, and a lot more happy uh, but the darkness is still uh, very much there so that was Talindriel. So my second character is Carolus. He is a wizard uh, trained in the Amethyst College in Altdorf. He went there when he was going through a phase in his youth um, and he quickly figured out that it wasn't actually the place for him. He should probably have uh, joined a different college, although they don't actually let you switch colleges just because you change your mind. So he was kind of stuck there, at least so long as his family kept paying the tuition, which they did. He came from a very, very, very wealthy uh, merchant family from Marienburg, or a little town just south of Marienburg, which is now overrun with demons and stuff like that. So. For some reason, all of a sudden, his tuition money stopped coming in, and then they decided at the college that he had graduated out of the blue. And he basically was told, hey, here's your diploma, go away. And that he did. Finally, a free man from the college, he went back to Marienburg to join his family and his wealthy lifestyle, only to find out that his family home had been invaded by demons and then the whole town had been bombarded by Marienburg's uh, navy and all of his family fortune was rubble. So as a wizard he figured that he must have some kind of um, ability so he hooked up with some people, bought a few beers and all of a sudden he joined the adventurer's guild and now he's out for fame and glory and to restore his family fortune. Well. At least some kind, but well, as long as he makes a lot of friends, he'll actually be quite happy with that. Another of my characters is Siegfried Meyer. He's uh, he used to be connected to the Nun regiments, and the regiment he was attached to was real bad guys. So he deserted after hitting his commanding officer over the head with his mace. He also happens to be a metal mage. He joined the house um, by being convinced to not drink himself to death in the local pub. So now he's the um, grumpy uncle of the group who also happens to be a tactical genius. And that's pretty much it. Dalgo again, you're probably sick of seeing my face after, uh, about this time, but I have one more character I need to tell you about. And that's my uh, elf assassin. He's a roguish uh, guy that uses death magic to 
kill his opponents in one blow. Kind of like an iron fist, uh, iron fist kind of thing, just with dark magic. Uh, he's pretty much the emo kid of the whole group, because he's uh, been taught uh, by his father, who, who he's a bastard son of, to be this cold-hearted assassin type kind of character. He's pretty fun, he's just very squishy. Uh, and he's mediocre at defeating stuff, but when he hits hard, he hits really hard. And a fun character. Well, see ya! Hello, it's Dark Hell again. Uh, my other character, we have a lot, is uh, Ulm. Now, Ulm is Danish for Ambrose, and uh, Ulm is a uh, bright wizard. The whole point of Ulm is to be the just opposite of Conrad, who is, uh, you know, slow and thoughtful and thinking about what he does, whereas Ulm is fire and burning and death. So what Ulm wants is to uh, show how to be a bright wizard, and how to be a bright wizard, if you ask Ulm, is to not be a nerdy wizard, but to burn everything you see until it is nothing but cinders and fires and coal. So Ulm is a bit of a different cup of tea. The second character, Teravian, the wide-eyed wood elf waywatcher. Um, grew up in Athaloran, always looking to the horizon, thinking there must be some, something out there, some kind of excitement. Um, now he got the chance to actually go out and see that world, um, and from what he's gathered so far, he can't wait to get back to his forest, because Jesus Christ, this world is fucked. Um, he is a way watcher, and as such, he is very good with a bow but he's also very good with shadow magic. Um, he started out as this wide-eyed wandering wood elf, and now he's more of the bitter, bitter, I want to kill everything that isn't a wood elf kind of guy. He was, uh, <laughs> he was captured by Skaven and tortured, um, and as such has learned to hate them. And that hate has kind of spread to everything. So now he's basically just the guy who goes in fills the room with shadow that beats up everything inside. Li Hao is the daughter of a high-ranking strategist in the Cathayan army, um, but she turned her back on her family when she ran away with a dragon monk. He taught her staff fighting so she could defend herself from the dangers on the Silk Road, but unfortunately he, um, the lack of discipline and uh, ascetic lifestyle made him wither and eventually die. So she reached the old world a widow and um, was one of the first to join the house. And finally there is my own character because sometimes Mother Nurgle takes uh, up the mantle of Game Master and I get to play and I enjoy that a lot. My character is Drak. He is uh, a Bolvan troll slayer um, and very uh, <laughs> Classic. I wrote a background story for him about how he killed his brother and uh, were thrown out of his mountain home. And uh, yeah, a few adventures later, he turned up in Marienburg, where he joined the house and is now the resident dwarf, the only dwarf in the house. But yeah, that was uh, today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, take care and bye bye.